the game, so it's familiar. But we wanted to make everything bigger, better, more options, more accessible, make you famous. Lots of customization. So uh, I'll go over a few of the, the high points. So one of the first things you'll notice in the new game is you can customize your killstreaks. We call this killstreak rewards. There's tons of these. You'll see a few of them here in the beta. Um, there's a new default set, which if you're familiar with, the, with Call of Duty 4, then you'll know the first one is the three killstreak, which is UAP, which shares the radar for your entire team. Um, the second default is a four killstreak, and it's called the Care Package. And this adds a really big new mechanic to the game, which you, uh, you have an airdrop marker when you get this kill streak. You throw it out, smoke goes up, a helicopter drops in, drops a crate, and you're able to capture it. And in that crate, you're either going to get ammo or a random kill streak. And they're all weighted, so you know the, the lower kill streaks are more common, but you could possibly get an AC-130 and start nuking people out of the sky. And then the fifth kill streak is the Predator missile. And that is basically a remote control missile that you control. You open up your laptop, you're on the ground, you got a few seconds to see the bad guys and blow them up. So there's a lot of different ways to play. And a lot of these are unlockable. You get to choose the order you unlock them, which is a new mechanic as well. And there's, there's, a, there's more than you'll see tonight, but some good stuff. I mean, another new thing that we added was the call sign. You might have seen this in some of the videos that we released. Um, basically, the call sign is another way to show off how cool you are, make yourself famous. So it shows your, your, your gamer tag. You have an emblem, which is the symbol that you unlock. And you have a title, which is an image with some words. So basically, the way you play is the more things you do, the more of these you're going to unlock for that thing. So if, you're like, if you get really big into the riot shields, you're going to unlock a lot of riot shield emblems and a lot of riot shield titles. And you'll unlock some tonight, and you'll see what it's all about. And it's a cool way to you know, sort of personalize the game for yourself. And when you do something cool in-game, these call signs pop out for everyone in the game, so they know. So if you shoot down the AC-130, it's gonna pop out, it says, so-and-so shot down the AC-130, show off your titles, and things like that. Um, we also evolved how Creative Class works. So Creative Class is extremely big right now. Um, there are a ton of new weapons, a ton of new attachments, some new camos, and another new mechanic that we added was secondary weapons. So not only do you choose your primary weapon, you know, your M16s or FAMAS, but you also choose your secondary weapon, which are also categorized, also have attachments. Like machine pistols is an example. They're, they're rapid fire, they're sort of like SMGs, but a little weaker, a little shorter range. Shotguns, shotguns can have silencers now. Handguns for fast swapping, they can have a lot of attachments. And launchers, like the AT4, which can lock on to kill streaks. So the AC-130 is bothering you, you can lock onto it, shoot it down. Um, another mechanic that we had was equipment. So on your right bumper, you may remember that you had a frag grenade. Well, now you can swap that out and decide what you want in its place. We have seen 402 get stuck by a Simtex grenade in one of the videos. And hit in the face with a throwing knife. Hit in the face with a throwing knife. There's also tactical insertion, which is a, something that doesn't actually kill, but it will throw this down, and it determines where your next spawn will be. Yeah. With a blast shield, which protects you from explosions, but you lose your mini-map. All these are really cool, because there's just more and more ways to customize to your play style. I mean, I love using tactical insertion when I'm playing CTF, because as I get closer to the flag, I'm constantly dropping them down, so when I'm going to do the mad rush, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to die, I can always spawn back without running all the way across the map. Same with the kill streaks. Uh, I use them. I all typically have a loadout that is uh, per game type. So just like in my CTF class, I'll have tactical insertion in my equipment slot. I will also customize my kill streaks around that because I want something that's fast and effective. If I'm playing an objective game type, where if I'm playing something like TDM and it's all about kills, and I want something that's user control that I can get up there and be in control of. Right. And another good thing to note about all this stuff is we have two basic philosophies that we incorporate into everything we're adding into the game. So we have to make sure it's fun, which is obvious. And we also make sure that it's balanced and there are counters to it and there are ways that this isn't the thing that's gonna break the game. So if you see that guy that's using a tactical insertion, 
you're actually able to go up and break it, you can shoot it, you can make it blow up, or you can wait behind it, wait for the guy to spawn, and then shoot him from the back. And there's all these different balances that, that you'll see when you play the game. Like, try out the riot shield when you're, when you're next door playing, and you'll, you'll see that you can't shoot when you have the riot shield out. It's slow to swap, but block bullets, so it's, it's really cool. Um, there's a lot of new perks. Perks can upgrade now. The more you use the perks, much like the weapons last game, they upgrade. So you can take your uh, hard line, which is get a kill streak for one less kill, but you're giving up your stopping power. And you can make your death streaks one less. So, um, for example, a death streak is also a new concept that you choose per class. Uh, copycat is a good example. So basically, once you've died four times in a row, you know, you might be a little bummed. You might be having a, a bad go, but you get your copycat and you're able to steal the, the guy that killed you's class during his kill camp. So you can say, this guy just keeps killing me, so annoying, I'm going to steal his stuff and get a preview of things you'll unlock later. So that's, that's a, a little bit of create a class, and you can name them, of course, just 